Um, but just thinking back at your time at university, go um, so back on the graduate scheme, sorry. What have been some of the best moments that you've had kind of in the scheme or during your time at Reed? Um, uh, it's during the scheme, I think the thing's been we've, we've sort of met up and had things together down at the manor for Reed. And, you know, you network with the graduates and you build connections that are, are meaningful. And it's fantastic because, you know, I've got friends all over the country now from that. Um, as far as kind of in terms of Reed goes, uh, my division actually had a, a conference for the first time this year in, in January and brought, I think it was 100 and something of us together, uh, all in Manchester, which was great. And we, we got like this huge network of people together. But the thing was, we we spent sort of part of the time focused on the division and how we could go forward. And, you know, the, the senior sort of team there did a real good job in terms of allowing us all to contribute and we've, we've helped shape, you know, how we think things should go forward and uh, that's been fantastic. But then at the same time, we, we had the social element and it's great because now collaborations through the roof, you know, there's not a single person in my division anywhere in the country that I feel afraid to, to push the call button to and have a chat with. I feel like I could just call anyone and just, you know, ask them about anything. It's great. And that for me, that level of, of networking and encouraging people to be involved and to collaborate has been fantastic and it's it's only helped us grow. Yeah, can't as Ross said, the communication and just just the opportunity. So I know I've been obviously on it a lot less than both of you, but for me it feels like I've done loads in a short best time. But probably my best memory so far is getting the opportunity to go down to Amelia Street, meet with the director of HR, director of um, leadership and management, director of learning and curriculum, and really getting that exposure to not just you know the different sections of the business to the leaders of that section, and that was amazing. That was awesome seeing how they run it from kind of top down, which you know usually nice at the time you look at it from bottom up. So it was that was a hell of a hell of an experience. Um, I think for myself, it was, I think a few things that kind of stick out to me is sitting down with, like, say, Alec Reed to be able to talk about the ideas um, that I've had for the business or things I've thought of that could be improved. I think that's a great opportunity. And I know not a lot of companies do that, to sit down with, you know, the founder of the company and have that kind of conversation. Um, so I think that was something that I really enjoyed. Um, I guess the ability to do a qualification that I actually completed in March as well, that was really useful because I never thought, again, a company would sponsor that. But the fact that we sponsored that, I was able to kind of go out and do it in work time. I didn't have to take any annual leave. I could just go and do that qualification, which is going to help me towards my role now. Is again something I really need to be doing. And then overall, some of the stuff that Ross and Dylan said around, I guess, making friends. A lot of times when you talk about read, everyone's like, oh, I've made loads of friends here. I've met a lot of people that I really get along with. And you think, oh, is that even possible? When you start working for you, do you really do see that coming through as I've met some amazing people that I don't just see as colleagues anymore, they're actually my friends that I can go to for other things as well, which is really nice to have. Yeah, definitely. I think anyone you bump into from Reed will say it's the people that have made kind of Reed what it is. Um, so in terms of um, though, oh, well, I was going to say for those that have rotated, it's only Unabida that's rotated. What yeah. was your favourite rotation and why have you chosen to rotate? So I obviously did my first year as a recruitment consultant. Um, I liked it. It was a lot of fun. It was really different, but I knew it wasn't me. Like I felt like in that role, I was pushing a lot harder and I was just constantly pushing and pushing and something wasn't working for me and I don't know what it was. Um, so I actually spoke to my mentor that was provided to me by Reed and I was like, look, I'm not sure what's going on, but this just isn't working for me. Um, and he said, why don't you look at your other options? And then literally it was, I think it was July last year that I got my list of rotations that were possible for me. I saw like a list of 20, 25 roles and I was like, there's so many options. I don't know what to do with this. Um, again, I sat down with my mentor to kind of choose five roles that I was interested in. I applied to kind of all five and then I chose to do this one, which I'm now as a customer success manager. And I have to say this is my favourite role. I think it really represents who I am as a person, with the kind of contact I have with my customers, um, the contact I have with my colleagues. But at the same time, I think with the sales element, that kind of really, I found really hard in my first year, but I don't have to do that part now which is why I think I'm able to excel in my current role a lot more. Brilliant. Yeah, 